This tutorial will guide you through the steps of creating a cross shader for three sections in Blender. Start by opening Blender and creating a new scene. Once the Blender is open, press Shift A to add an object. From the Add menu, select Mesh and then Monkey. I add a subdivision surface modifier to improve the visualization, then apply it. Add an empty object to control the section in the x-axis. Then add one more empty object for the Y section. Add the shader editor to the workspace. Select the monkey and add a new material. Switch to the material preview mode. To cut out the object, we need to add a transparent shader. Press Shift A and add a shader from the shader menu. Mix the two shaders by adding a mix shader. Previewing the transparency as black can be fixed by going to the material menu and setting the blender mode to alpha hashed. Transparency is now displayed correctly. To control the position of the transparency, add texture coordinate from the input menu. Use the separate XYZ node to separate the XYZ vectors. Select the empty object. We can now control the transparency on the X axis. Unfortunately, it is displayed as a gradient. Add a math node and select greater than to fix this. The threshold should be zero. If we want to cut the monkey from the other side, just add an invert node. We want to be able to cut the object in more than one axis. Duplicate the nodes from the x-axis to do this. Add a math node and select multiply to combine the two. Select the empty Y and change the vector from the separate node to Y.
Let's test it. To gain better control, lock the location transformation. Add a third Z-axis cut in the same way. This is the final node configuration. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please consider giving it a thumbs up or subscribing.